We can watch them morning sun and we'll sit on we live in the life and never saying goodbye because we found all that we've ever wanted just playing right here next to your love is what i always dreamed of and you are all that i've ever wanted and i'll be all you ever need baby that i guarantee Lauren Stewart here. Welcome back to my channel. I want to show you some nasty floors. We bought the old farmhouse. Remember, we sold our house. Oops. Bought a farmhouse. Ugh. Subscribe. Hit the red button because we have a ton of DIYs coming for you. We bought this house. Our plan was to initially rip out all the floors because they were unbearable and they actually even had a funny smell. Like they were really, really, really bad. My mom put it in my ear to possibly save them and I started looking up different methods online. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how I whitewashed my floors. But first, get everything out, vacuum it, get your drum sander from Home Depot and you are going to get rid of all the years of gunk in all these rooms. So we did the living room, the foyer, the dining room, the, uh, I can't remember what all the rooms. Anyways, here's us at the beginning. We were not smelling this big by the end. So a huge FYI, major tip, big, big, big thing for when you are sanding your floors with this drum sander, you cannot stop and hold still. If you need to stop and think about what you are doing, you need to pull the sander blade up off the floor. There is a lever that you know lifts it so it's not sanding because if you do sit in one spot, it is going to put a divot in your floor. So make sure that you lift the drum sander and st or stop the belt when you are doing this. Dawson, do you want mama to hold you? Okay. So you're gonna be doing passes with three different types of sandpaper. You're gonna start with the roughest sandpaper, then you're gonna go just a little bit better, and then you're going to finally smooth it off with the 120. Um, this is going to give you a really good, fresh, start with your floors and we really needed it and then obviously we had to do around the edges as well because the drum sander just does not get that close. This is sanded, it has only been sanded twice and it has a third, a smoother sand that's going to go on it but then so that's the floor before, after, before, after. So anyways I'm very excited about how this is coming out. All right, I mean, this looks literally perfect. Like, I'm not, I don't think so it's fine. I can't believe we're really gonna whitewash the floors. <laughs> All right, so ratio of one to one. I used a Valspar interior eggshell. The pink color is White Dove, which I actually also have on my walls in the foyer. It is my favorite white color. Pay attention to this technique. You just like kind of willy nilly, you like this. All right, so I rolled and immediately did not like that, but then she started wiping and I liked it like that. Maybe we need more than one wipe thing now that I rolled a bunch. So you'll notice as we go, we try a few different techniques in getting this onto the floor. The best way that we have found was rubbing it in with a cloth. Now you have to get paint onto the floors to rub in and the cloth needs to be really nice and wet, but um, either way, it has just turned out so beautiful. My next little tip for you here is when I was doing the whitewashed floors I had something very particular in my mind about what I wanted them to look like 
My biggest, biggest tip here is to not look for perfection as you are doing this. These will look weathered, they will look worn, and it is so pretty. Um, if this is the kind of look that you are going for, it's definitely, definitely not a perfect look. It's a beautiful, weathered, light, bright look. And then go ahead and continue through the rest of your house. Last night, all the way done through, people walked in here, there's stir on the floors, but all the way done through there. Problem is, last night I went to seal it and this happened, which this is nothing like this, right? So I stopped and like, I've seen these kinds of floors in people's houses before. Um, they're, you know, it's pretty, but it is not what I worked so hard to get in here. So I'm gonna sand this and fix it. And um, we're gonna put a different kind of sealer on it. I was devastated last night because we've been on our hands and knees. Well, we, I've been on my hands and knees painting and sanding and cleaning and making sure this was exactly what I'd envisioned. So basically I have to re-sand all of that and re uh, whitewash it because it's not what I wanted and it's not what I worked so hard to get and I was incredibly upset last night I started sealing it because I wanted to have these floors sealed long story short it was an oil-based sealer and it was dissolving the paint so I'm gonna pop up on the screen here the sealer that you are supposed to have I was getting so excited to have this space done anyways we had to redo it it's fine it turned out it was not that big of a deal but it really felt like the end of the world for about an hour um and here they are now with the polyurethane that i used to seal them and this is the best brush ever to apply it because rolling does not work on these floors doing um the floors there's a few different things that you've got to do so you have three different levels of sandpaper you're going to be using um this is a 60 and then an 80 and then a 120. Right now I have the 80 on there and I've done these with the 60. So you go 60, then 80, then the 120 is the fine sandpaper. Um, so we ended up having to plane these as well uh, because the floors were so uneven from all the years of water damage. Um, so we planed them after we did the, hi Olive. Hi, my girl. We planed them after we did the 60 on them. And then now we're gonna sand them with the 80 and then the 120 so they'll be nice and smooth. Olive is my helper, huh? Yeah. These ones in here are done. We finished these a few days ago. So we started pulling furniture out and we finally were able to get this room emptied. It's all in the kitchen right now so that we could do this and on the stairs. But then this entry here is done too. Um, and the floors really turned out really nice. And this room is done as well. Hi, Louie. We just got animals everywhere. And there's chickens all out there on the porch. And then um, we're also working on some antique pieces right now. This um, is, it's hard to tell how big it is. It's really long. It's about 10 feet long. And um, it was in perfect condition. Um, minus like just kind of a little bit of age on it. And it is so beautiful and I love it right here. This back piece actually was not with this. My mom had the idea to um, take this from the top of the china hutch and put it on here so it looked more like a bench for right here. Um, anyways, my dining room rug ended up over here on the floor because we needed to clear this out so I could finish sanding so that we can wrap these floors up. So this process took us about three days to do the first 
a couple of rooms and then we waited a few days before we did the dining room. Sorry, I ignore my typo. Um, we kept the rags very damp for this part and that just worked so much better. And now at the end of it, it's been a couple of months, the floors are holding up so well and I love them.